guys. So today I want to share with you five of the best side hustles for women to make money online. Now, although these ideas are well suited for women, these ideas can of course be explored by men if you wanted to do so. But today I'm focusing on women because a lot of us have important ideas that we want to share with the world but just might not have the confidence in doing so. I know this myself, having been on the journey of growing in my own confidence and sharing my own message with the world. And I'm still on that journey of learning even today. Each of us, whether you believe it or not, have God-given talents and abilities that you know, we need to get out there and share it with the world and not hold back. And if we can share our stories to the world, help others and make money in the process of doing so, what better? Now I'm sharing these ideas with women because number one, they're flexible and you can do them around your day job. Number two, if you're a mum with children, you can do this around a school run. And number three, if you're a mum on maternity leave, this is something that you could easily make time to do and also generate income very quickly. Finally, having studied a lot of businesses, I must say that some of the best and most successful businesses are actually run by women. Not just women, but they're actually run by mums. So these side hustle ideas could be the beginning of something much bigger in the future. My name's Mary of the Humble Penny and Financial Joy Academy. And what we do on this channel is to give you the tips, the insights, and the practical hacks to help you reach a dream life of financial independence and money joy. Now, I'd massively appreciate you hitting that like button if you're enjoying this video. All right, guys, let's just dive straight in. All right, guys, so side hustle number one is selling printables on Etsy. Digital downloads have grown in popularity over the last decade. And the one platform that stands out as a go-to place to sell them is Etsy. Everything from digital art prints to custom tools and spreadsheets you can find on Etsy. Now, the beauty of selling digital prints on Etsy is that you don't have to worry about the headache of having to deliver physical items to somebody. They simply pay for the product and download it. The bulk of the work is actually creating a product in the first place. But once you've created it and you put it on Etsy, you create your own account, Etsy then acts as a marketplace to sell your digital products. Are you passionate about poetry? Well, you can turn those words into printables and sell them. You'll be surprised that people would want to buy it. Or are you good at art and do you love painting? You can turn these into digital prints and sell them online. Prices range from about 99p to £4.99. All these sorts of prices, people just buy it without even thinking about it because it's so affordable. This then becomes about selling in high quantities over time. If you have a digital printable that sells for three pounds and you sell a hundred in a month, that's 300 pounds extra income that you can get from your side hustle. And the more you sell and provided people love your printables, because of course you're only going to put out quality, then that would help as they will give you excellent reviews, which will help more people to buy your products. So to get started with selling principles on Etsy we found such a useful guide um, that you can follow through and I'll put the link above and below for you to check out. Okay guys so side hustle idea number two is online business manager. An online business manager or an OBM is somebody who supports a business owner online handling key operational tasks and projects within the business. So the type of business that you support as an OBM is an income generating business making at least 100k per annum and wanting to grow their business to seven figures. So the OBM is usually the right hand person to the business owner, helping them to run their business more smoothly and successfully. This role takes the role as a virtual assistant one step further and rather than just completing tasks, they help with the management. So you could essentially be managing projects or a small team of maybe virtual assistants, managing projects or managing a team or doing both. Now, although this side hustle is about management, you don't actually need a specific qualification or certification to do this. You just need to have good organization skills and want to be forward thinking and enjoy managing people. You should also be willing to learn how key business systems and technologies work. Understanding how online businesses work would also be a key advantage. Learning about sales funnels will set you apart and put you in high demand. 
I'm saying this myself as a business owner and finding an OBM with those skills are invaluable. You can also choose your hours so you can work as many hours as you want and spread that across different clients. So just like virtual assistants, online business managers typically have between two to four clients that they work with. This helps to diversify their income and their work. I'm telling you guys, this particular role is in high demand and low supply. Okay, so good starting rates for online business managers typically start from £30 to £50 per hour. You could also, if you wanted, earn on a retainer basis and typical rates are about £1,000 per month. Although you can earn much more than that depending on your rates and hours worked. How can you get started? Simply search on Google how to become an online business manager or search on YouTube and start learning. You could also join niche Facebook groups and search online business manager on Facebook or other similar platforms. All right guys, so side hustle number three is to start a blog and a YouTube channel. Yes guys, for this one, this is a dual strategy. So my recommendation for this would be to create one piece of content on YouTube per week and one piece of content on the blog per week. So in total, you have two pieces of high quality content. Now I'm suggesting this because it would help you not only generate an income faster, but it would help you get discovered quicker and build a brand that people like and trust. Now, if you don't think that you're good at blogging, don't worry at all. From my experience, I did not feel confident trying to blog at all. So what I did was to record my audio and then later to transcribe that into words. That transcription, guys, ended up becoming one of our most popular blog posts, how we live well on a 50 pounds food budget. We then went on to create a YouTube video on that same blog post. So if you're somebody who you don't feel confident in writing, but you're confident in talking, you could just record your audio and you'll be surprised that you have great content in there that you can then transfer that into a blog post later on. Now, let's look at the key advantages of blogging and YouTubing. So with blogging, you own your own platform. It's all well and good having all these social media platforms and accounts, but it could easily be deleted, let's be honest. At least with a blog, you have a platform which you know belongs to you. Another advantage is that you can build a deeper authority in your niche. It helps to diversify traffic, Plus your blog post can drive traffic to your YouTube channels and your YouTube channel can drive traffic to your blog. You could also diversify your income by focusing on non-ad revenue sources such as creating digital products like we mentioned before, selling courses or even offering coaching or consultancy. Feel free guys to follow our step-by-step -step tutorial to get started. All right, now let's look at the advantages of having a YouTube channel. You build know, like, and trust very quickly. YouTube helped to promote your videos provided you achieve a decent click-through rate and good watch time. You could potentially get monetized between three to six months if you focus on quality, value, stay consistent, and be authentic. You could also potentially grow your subscriber base very quickly. Having this dual strategy, we believe will help you build a brand much quicker. Check out our detailed video which we did which compares YouTube versus blogging and the pros and cons for each one. We'll put a link above and below to that video guys. So guys to get started with this video check out the tutorial I mentioned before and also watch the YouTube and blogging pros and cons video. So guys if you've got to this part of the video send me a signal in the comments. Include a gem within your comments so I know you've got to this part of the video. Alright so side hustle number four is freelance writing. Freelance writing is a way for you to make money by writing articles on a freelance basis. You could get paid per hour, per word, per project, or on a retainer basis. You don't have to be extremely good at writing to make money from freelance writing. You also don't need an English qualification. What you do need is an interest in writing for a specific niche. For example, a good friend of ours successfully writes for other finance channels and she gets paid £120 for writing 1,000 words article. By just focusing on one niche, in this case personal finance, she gets referrals from each person she does a good job for and now she gets work on a monthly basis. She's also a mum and she does this around the school run. Another example is my husband Ken who apart from writing on our blog he's also now a freelance writer 
for the Financial Times and he gets paid doing so. I've seen Ken go literally from someone who has no writing experience or even confidence to become a great writer the more he writes. And what's interesting is that the more he's seen to write for other publications, the more he's then contacted by other online publishers to write for them also. So to learn more about how much you can earn as a freelance writer, how to price yourself and how to get freelance writing gigs, check out this video we made recently on all things freelancing. We'll put the link above and below for you to check it out. All right, guys, so the final one, side hustle number five is to manage social media. So are you social media savvy and able to create eye-grabbing posts? Or are you a whiz at creating reels or TikTok videos or shorts that grabs a lot of attention? You might not think it, but that's exactly the skills that small business owners are looking for. Local companies might have the desire to get involved in social media, but they just don't know how. They don't have the time to work out whether to use a reel or a story or a short, they don't have time to work out the new features that keeps getting released. You can step in with your expertise to help them build a social media presence and as a result, help them generate more business. Businesses absolutely love this because the fee they pay you will be justified by the awareness and potential sales that you could potentially help them generate. Now, given small business owners want to grow, but they struggle with not having enough time to do everything, this is an opportunity for you to step in and help a small business owner and generate an income at the same time. So to get started, choose an area to focus on, e.g. could be a dentist, hairdressers, a restaurant, or it could be a business that you know and love. For example, two of our team members are people who actually reached out to us as fans of The Humble Penny and they wanted to work from us. And we now have them on our team and they're doing excellent because they know us, they know what we're about, they know our values. They're able to present our business in the best light. Now, if this is something that is totally new to you, why not start with calling a few local businesses or like I said, some that you like and offer your services for free until you can get more confident and know what exactly it is that businesses want. Help them for about a month or so and then use these as case studies that you can use to present to other businesses what you can do and how you can help them. Now guys, if you got to the end of this video, you're a real G. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and share it with somebody. Guys, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Which of these five side hustle ideas will you seriously explore? Thanks again for watching guys. And as ever, in all things, be thankful and seek joy. Thanks so much for watching. Take care guys. Bye-bye.